Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty, and it's been a wild last six months putting out a bunch of videos, talking to a lot of you, getting to know you online and your comments and your suggestions. I appreciate that, and uh, I am a YouTube partner now, so I appreciate it more than I can say. You are my first 3,500 people subs, and some of you are my first 100 subs, and I appreciate the, uh, uh, the ride thus far. So I thought I'd relax. I mean, it's seven days a week, about 12 to 16 hours a day of getting content, editing content, uploading content, learning how to use various applications. Time for a little relaxation. And what do you do for relaxation? Snipe. So I put together this FJX Imperium class. Let's go over it real quickly, and then we'll get out on the field of honor. First, there's the Morris.site. site. I've just grown to like this <laughs> site on snipers, and I use it whenever it's available. Next is the FJX Lux 7 stock. And when I'm building a sniper, I generally try to go for ADS speed. And you can see the composite here is 482 milliseconds. It's, it's not something that's going to be lit up in stars, but it's not very bad either. I'm telling you, 482 we can work with. FJX Blast Bolt, and that increases the rechamber time or decreases it by 14%. And let's take a quick look at the damage and see what this weapon does. It's 480 to the head, so that means it's a one-shot kill, and it's probably going to be a one-shot kill through most cover that you can penetrate. Upper torso is 250, same there. Lower torso is actually 155, so from the belly button up, you're going to get a one-shot gag, probably even a little lower than that. And upper legs is 144, which means if the person has a paper cut and you hit them in the upper legs, you probably gacked them. Effective damage range is at 53 meters. Minimum damage range is 73 meters. So, I mean, on the maps that I play on, and I like to keep it tight when I'm sniping, I like to move. I don't like the larger maps where people camp around the edges and wait for somebody to walk into their sight. I like to keep moving. The bullet velocity is 860 meters per second. It's a good bullet velocity, and the rate of fire is going to be around one round a second with the FJX blast bolt on it. Recoil, I don't worry about that much. Uh, accuracy, if you're hip firing, the war is not going well. I hope you have your last will and testament complete and it's being stored by somebody you trust. Sprint to fire speed, 216 milliseconds. Movement speed is about average for snipers, although tactical sprint, 6.7 meters per second. You're not going slow. ADS movement speed is a good 2.3 meters per second. The Skull 4 40 grip and that hurts the recoil but we've already seen recoil isn't a bad thing when you get on the field when you're reading about it and these stats it seems almost insurmountable the main thing this gives us is a almost a 10 percent decrease in the ads speed and a 20 percent decrease in the sprint to fire speed so i had an extra slot and i put on the overpressure ammo it increases flinch it's almost up to three newtons there 2.7 80 percent increase so it's it's worthwhile if I nick somebody or hit them well below the belly button, then this flinch will throw them off target for sure. So there it is, the FJX Imperium, a relaxation treatment for Grandpa. Let's take it out onto the field of honor, see how it does for Grandpa, see what it did to Grandpa's enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into a little hard point on me. And this time I'm going to start with a little Renetti action. There we go. And I, what do we end up with one or two out of that? I don't know. Let him hold that for a second. And she's running in slow motion. The ADS speed is good enough at the Imperium for some quick scoping. Whoa, she was dancing left and right, wasn't she? Hey, I didn't have this video on my planning board, but I just got done so many of the bare bones testing, configuration testing, that I thought I'd just have some fun. And whenever I want to have fun, it's a sniper. 
And it's not because I'm a good sniper. I don't claim to be a good sniper at all. It's because I'm always trying to get my sniping skills better. Grandpa buys the farm there. Now, I know some of you have said, I don't know, Sliding Rhinos one commented that he likes the long classic sniping maps. I suppose they're okay, but I find that on those maps that I get surrounded by Muppets on the corners with sniper rifles aimed down sight. And you can barely move as somebody doesn't have, like that guy there, he's already aimed down sight. Didn't help because I don't give him a glint. It's one thing about the Moore's dot sight and iron sights, there's no sniper glint. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guy looked like a a ghost in a hood. So I prefer running around with a sniper. That's why you haven't seen me use a cat. Except to get it to Interstellar and then to get Mastery, the 100 Gilded Kills, 200 Forge Kills, the 300 Kills and that Polka Dotted camo and then finally 400 kills on interstellar the extra thousand kills to get that charm whoa he's up in the corner and i i like doing this like quad kill makes me happy makes me happy with a sniper and an enclosed area where a number of the enemy have an opportunity and look at there grandpa does not like losing so right off the bell, two quick kills. Now some people can run around and truly quick scope everybody. And I admire that ability. I've watched Spratt and Pomage and Kitty and all those people for years. They're just so impressive. Uh, picked that guy off that Muppet spot up there. It's so the one downside of this map. You get Muppets that just want to lay up on top of the on top of the rig up there. But this sliding rhino, if you're listening, is a, you get fairly good line of sights here. And there are a lot of maps where you can get the classic line of sight if you want to snipe a long way. Shoot house is definitely one of them. You can get a lot. There are a lot of long shots areas on shoot house for a sniper rifle I think this version of rust is bigger this map is bigger than the classic rust what do you guys think am I just imagining things because I don't remember being able to get long shots on rust very easily with a with an assault rifle but I was able to lock them all down on this map See if we can punish that guy for getting a streak. Whoa, jump up, jump up. <laughs> and Gak Elvis, and he's put out a, whatever that thing is, a Wilson. Didn't last very long. But there are plenty of lanes to snipe down on this map. People that aren't paying attention that you can shoot in the back of the head. So I say I want to relax, get back to that thing. I didn't realize that, oh, I love sniping knifers. Mostly beak to beak because I can eliminate them as quickly as they can eliminate me. They're one shot. I thought that would have been a collateral. So you don't need a sight to get the pinpoint accuracy. You have aim assist. I didn't realize it would take so long to create content. Whoa, let me just pull out the Vernetti. And edit it and use the editing tools. I use Premiere Pro, which I guess is a professional tool. I just happen to have an Adobe subscription. I've had it for years and years for my work. Never used Premiere Pro, but works great for videos. 
I use an Apple Mac Studio. Hey, hey, we won that one. To do all the work on. Very, very fast. It's got 32 gigabytes of shared memory. So that goes to the graphics. It goes to what I need to do. And in terms of encoding a video, whoa, see, you can erase people quickly. Encoding a video, it encodes like five or six, maybe up to 10 times on 30 minute video or 20 minute video than the previous Intel processor I was using. And I was a Microsoft employee, so I'm a fan of Windows, but I don't use it for this, that's for sure. So I came in, no, I didn't come in. I came in at the beginning of this map, but I didn't turn on the recording till the score you see slightly before you, the score you see up there now, so about halfway through it. But the Imperium, you run pretty fast with it. You can ADS less than 500 milliseconds. It's a quick, close team deathmatch. Oh, there's a Muppet. Gonna go back to Gakum, but it looks like somebody already got him. I don't understand what fun it is just to lay there or stand there ADS. Or to be exploded, that's no fun. But I use a slow, kind of methodical approach, and if somebody's in my face, I'll quick scope them, or let's say they're within 30 meters, I can quick scope them. I can get some lucky quick scopes further than that, but like I said, I'm not a sniper. Oh, there's an iron back. I'm run away from him. I did throw a few thermites on him. He started to run away from me every time he saw me. All right, we won. Hey, listen, if you like, please subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. I've enjoyed the first 480 videos. This is the 480th. And thank you for your support. I appreciate it a lot. Cheers and peace.